Hi, my name is Jeff Manchester. I'm a product specialist with Isotope. And today we're gonna to be walking through some of the brand new features of RX6. We're gonna be using standard. We have a lot of new features in RX6 to really take things to the next level, not just time saving techniques and tools, but performance saving tools and techniques as well. So I wanna start with the brand new composite view. Some people say composite view, some people say composite. Good news is no matter how you pronounce it, it does the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna start here with a multi mic uh, drum set. So if I go through, you'll see that we have a uh, kick in our first tab. Overhead left. Overhead right. We have our room mic. And we have our snare as well at the very end. So brand new to RX6 is the ability to sort of collapse these tabs down into one sort of nested composite view. So I can do that simply by going over to this tab and collapsing them all down. So now we're seeing the composite view of all of those uh, individual tracks. So I can zoom in and we can see here that we have a cell phone ringing. I know that's a cell phone ringing because we have some very sort of clear uh, divisions of uh, transients in the spectrogram and then we get kind of interrupted with this. So. I'll play this and just listen carefully to see if you can hear the sort of cell phone interruption that I'm talking about. Let's play that one more time. So it's important to note that just how useful the spectrogram view is, for example, if I slide this all the way to the left, we get the x-axis view. And we can see this sort of waveform. And there I can't really see any important information indicating that there might be some disturbance from a cell phone. I might be able to hear it, but I can't see it and attenuate it. But if I slide this all the way to the right, then I can really get this great view, very in-depth. I can see all my frequencies represented from zero to 20,000 hertz. And if I zoom in, we can really see where that cell phone's causing trouble. So what I'll do is go into spectral repair and I'll switch to my time frequency selection tool I'm just going to draw a region around here, really highlight this, and uh, I've got a drum attenuation preset selected here. So what I'll do is just adjust my weighting here, and then I'll press process. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to fade the information that we see interrupting this drum pattern, that cell phone. I'm trying to fade that into the background, make it less noticeable, attenuate it basically. So I'll press process. So for context, let's do before, before we attenuated that cell phone noise. Listen carefully. And once again, here's after we attenuated it in composite view with spectral repair. So I can go even deeper if I want to with spectral repair. I can really sort of narrow in and rabbit hole into some of these sort of little fades I see here from the transients. But as you can see with composite view, we get like to a really good place really quickly. So I can get started uh, dealing with sort of troublesome noises that are interfering with an otherwise really great performance. So those are just some of the new tools in RX6 standard. To find RX6, head to Reverb Sync.